Hello everyone, this is Sayyid Muhammad Asghari and I'm going to talk about the Great Bounds for Decentralized Learning in Cooperative Multi-Agent Dynamic Cloud Systems. This is a joint work between Ouyang and Ashutaj Nayib. So let's begin with the problem statement. We have two agents with decoupled linear dynamics. Although these agents are dynamically decoupled, they are coupled through a quadratic cast. Here we would like to study this problem where the matrices A11, B11 of the dynamics of agent one are unknown. We denote these matrices with parameter theta. So theta is unknown. We would like to study this problem under two different cases. In case one, there is no communication between the agents. And in case two, we assume that there is a one-way communication from agent one to agent two. In both of these cases, each agent can observe its own state. Furthermore, in case two, because we have this one-way communication from agent 1 to agent 2, agent 2 can also observe the state of agent 1. So for both of these cases, we would like to find decentralized policy pi for the agents that minimizes the regret. And we define regret as the accumulated cost on the policy pi for the time horizon of t minus t times j of theta, where j of theta is the optimal infinite horizon cost for the problem with noun theta. Now that we have described our problem, I would like to share uh, um, our main results for these two cases. And we start with case one, where there is no communication between the agents. In this case, we can show that learning with sublinear integer grade is not possible. Here I would like to give you an intuition behind this result. So when theta is known, the optimal action of both agents depends on theta. When theta is not known, both agents need to estimate theta. And when they begin with uh, an initial estimation. However, because there is no communication from agent one to agent two, agent two won't receive any feedback about theta, so it won't be able to improve its initial uh, estimation of theta. Therefore, the estimation of theta by agent two would be uh, very poor, and this will make the regret at least linear in T. So when there is no communication from agent one to agent two, learning uh, with sublinear integer regret is not possible. Now let's move on to case two. In case two, we assume that there is a one-way communication from agent one to agent two. And for this case, we propose a decentralized online multi-agent reinforcement learning algorithm for future reference, we call this algorithm ALMOD. So, and I would like to first uh, give you an intuition behind this algorithm. When theta is known, the optimal action of both agents depends on theta. When theta is not known, both agents need to estimate theta. In spite of case one, where there was no communication here, the presence of the communication from agent one to agent two allows uh, both agents uh, to improve their estimation of theta through the feedbacks that they receive. Uh, our approach for the estimation of theta is that each agent construct an auxiliary single agent RL problem, and then both agents use one of the existing uh, single agent RL algorithm, which we call it AR solve, to solve this single agent RL problem. Uh, basically, what uh, our uh, what we have in uh, our ALMR algorithm is that we have a single uh, agent RL algorithm as a subroutine. So now I would like to describe our uh, ALMR algorithm. This algorithm is executed independently by the agents at each time t. Agent I is going to feed the common information among the agents through the AL-star algorithm in order to get an estimate theta t i of unknown parameter theta. And then this agent is going to use this estimate instead of the unknown parameter theta in order to calculate its own action, UTI. Then this agent is uh, executing uh, action UTI and observe new information. And this process is repeated. Existing AL sol algorithm can include random sampling, and this means that the estimates theta t1 and theta t2 by the agents can be different. Uh, in order to make the theoretical analysis tractable, we make this assumption that the 
both agents use the same sampling seed, and this guarantees that the estimates by the agent at each time are equal. Under this assumption, we can show that the regret of our proposed algorithm is bounded above by the regret of the ARSL algorithm plus another thing which is also bounded above by the screw root key. For the state of the hard ARSL algorithms, we know that the regret is a screw root key. If we combine this result with the result we just had, we can conclude that under assumption one and with the state of the art AL SAR algorithms, the regret of our proposed ALMAR algorithm is bounded above by screw root T. Here, Tilda uh, on the O, uh, highest regard factors in T. Here, I would like to emphasize on two key points about our solution approach. First of all, we did not reduce our uh, MARA problem to a SAR problem. And also, this uh, single agent R subroutine, which is constructed based on the common information, only serves as a coordination mechanism among the agents. So, so far in this talk, we talked about the MAR problem with two agents. Here, I would like to talk about the extension of our result to MAR problem with more than two agents. So, for a MAR problem with multiple agents and globally coupled class, we can show that if an agent cannot observe the state of an unknown agent, learning with sublinear and t regret is not possible. Furthermore, when all the agents uh, observe the state of every unknown agent, we can propose an ALMR algorithm with school root t reverse. Next, I would like to uh, show you some uh, numerical experiments on the performance of our proposed algorithm. Here we have the, our proposed algorithm uh, under two cases, where uh, we have same sampling seed and arbitrary sampling seed. And we can see that under both cases, uh, the regret is uh, school root here, and this verifies our theoretical findings. This brings me to the end of this uh, talk. I would like to summarize what we had in this talk. We studied the multi-agent reinforcement learning problem with linear dynamics on quadratic cost. We showed that uh, when there is an unknown agent, which is not observable by some agents, linear with sublinear in T regret is not possible. Furthermore, we showed that uh, when all ag unknown agents are observ observable by all agents, we can propose a learning algorithm with a school with T regret. With that, I would like to thank you all and uh, I would like to answer your question uh, if you have any. Thank you very much.